And welcome back, everybody. My name is Altamara, and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. Uh, so we actually did miss two things on this floor that I just noticed. This stairwell that we didn't actually go into? We haven't gone all the way down there yet. It's still very shadowed, so I'm actually going to go explore that really quickly. I can't remember if I've gone there or not, but regardless of whether or not we have, we should just take a quick look. And there's one more corridor over here that we also haven't gone into yet. Oh, there's something down here. Okay. Looks like oozes! Oh, there is some oozes. Okay. We're gonna kill the big ooze first. Man, our ranger just does some serious damage. He stays alive, I guess. She stays alive, I should say. 18 damage a hit is pretty impressive for a bow. So much for you. So apparently... Oh, we're getting healed in these waters. That's cool. Uh, there's turquoise and plasma, and then there's some sort of robe, which has a gleaming silver key. What is it for? I actually don't even know. What I do know is that we need to come over here and go explore this hallway, though. That is a pretty cool looking statue. There's a door here. I'm gonna guess that. Yeah, that's what I figured. There's a spirit in here! Maybe we should loot the room first, though. There is a... Gonsher, which is a flail. Converts grazes to hits, it does draining, and it is fine. I'm not sure what draining does. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hello, spirit. The light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to register the faintest image of a standing figure. Features blur of mist or smoke before the world tilts. It is as if you have stepped sideways into a new life. You are racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. Your own panting breaths are loud in your ears. Panic, and your robes alike foul your steps. And you nearly stumble before a hand reaches out to grip your arm and steady you, a fellow acolyte who smiles encouragement as you reach the bottom. You run around and pass the shallow reflection pool that marks the lowest point of the temple, following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead their way to the narrow hall that leads to the vault. You pass one of the torchbearers as you go. The harsh illumination of the flames reveals a familiar face. For a moment, your awareness spans time and identity, and you think Warten has joined you, here at the bottom of the temple. In the memory, he glances at you for a moment, then looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they're gone, he's saying. You are being pressed along by the crowd, and his words are growing faint. Just keep quiet. We can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam like welcoming stars. The memory twists, jarring you loose from one moment and plunging you into another like a flung doll. There is only darkness around you now. You think yourself blinded until the knowledge settles onto you like a cloak. The candles have all burnt away. You know now, too, with sick certainty, that nobody is coming. There is a cracking noise somewhere to your left. A wet slurping gurgle and a ragged sob. You cannot see, so you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen and which digs after what water a body may provide. You hear in the faint murmuring to your right the familiar cadence of a prayer, but you no longer recognize the words. You are too tired to do harm. Your thirst is like fire within you, your tongue is thick in your throat, and every breath is a struggle that leaches strength from you. There is a light, they said, at the end of every bout of darkness, but this one does not end. The spirit releases you, and you come back to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears, and the vault around you is revealed once more, cast in muted hues by the sickly illumination of the soul still drifting like fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirit in waves, fraying at your own emotions. I am not a good person, so I'm going to say, get away from me, I've had enough of you. You feel a lash lashing coil of anger and fear from the soul before it floats downward to settle by the remains. It does not move towards you again. No matter how many times I see you staring off at nothing, it does not get less weird. Gather the remains. You spend a few moments gathering up what you can find of the bones of the priests. It provides a heavy and gruesome burden, but you manage to recover them all. Now let's loot the rest of the room. We have to be aggressive, that is what the bleak walkers are. Otherwise we lose power. Some of the gold leaf on these relics has chipped away to reveal the wood beneath. There are tooth marks upon one of the bowls weird. This stand rocks unsteadily on its base. It seems that the mechanism is broken. So they got locked in the room on a broken mechanism. 
and died. Good job on your vault there, guys. Maybe you should have kept upkeep on it. So that maybe you wouldn't have died. I'm just saying. That there was a better way to go about that. And we are officially done with this quest. We're going to head upstairs. Which leads us to... Wow, there's a lot of candles here. As you step over the circle of candles, you hear a rattling clunk from the wall nearby. A door slides open with a grinding rasp of stone. That's going to lead us out of here, I think. Yes, but is there anything here that we want? There is. The candles flicker gently as you approach. There is a gap above the altar, lined with broken glass, where a mirror may once have been set into the wall. The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. What's this all for? Redemption. They got this whole right for when you come of age. They take you by the hand and you descend through the temple with your eyes covered, and that's supposed to be like a wicked life. They don't tell you where you're going. I was sweating like crazy when I did mine, he winks. They take you to that reflecting pool back there, and you're allowed to look at it so you can face your sins. Then you come to this room, and they uncover your eyes again, and everyone's there to greet you, all your friends and family, and it's like you've been redeemed. You light your candle, and it burns with the others. Never had a feeling better than that my whole life. It dares eyes linger on the candles, and he seems for a moment to be a younger man. One second, I'm just going to move my microphone. It might make a weird sound. I'm just turning it a little bit. The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. I'm going to leave. We're going to... Oh, we can't snuff out a candle now. Hmm, maybe we'll load up the autosave? Yeah, let's try the autosave. I just want to see what the candles do when you snuff one out. If someone gets mad at you, or if something opens. We'll quick save before we do it. Of course. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, there we go. Do, 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 do. What's this all for? Snuff a candle. You reach out to pinch one of the burning wicks. Smoke rises in a thin trail from the candle. Nothing else appears to happen. They made him strong enough to survive time, but not thoughtlessness, looks like. Hmm. <laughs> so nothing happens. They're not worth anything. Well, there's no point in making, um... Maybe they're mad at us for that, so we'll just leave the candle alone after we talk about it. What's all this? Blah blah blah. I'll leave. I'll take care of it. Alright. Time to get out of here. Oh, we can make a formation. Cool. We will make a formation eventually. What's that? Some blood? Yes. I shall be discreet. We've already looked through this whole place, haven't we? Yes we have. Let's get out of here. I wonder what's next on our list of things to do. Good day, to Wartan. I need to be... Wartan smiles nervously as you approach. I think I sorted out the worst of it. Arms hurting a little less, he hesitates. You were down there a while. Did you find anything? His eyes start constantly about the ruins. Something you're nervous about? No, of course not. Just never good to linger around these places, that's all. Wartan gives you a searching look. Did you find anything? I'm going to be stoic, hand over the bundle of remains. The color drains from Wartan's face. He takes the bundle from you with trembling hands. You found them then. He stares down at the bones. I found more than the bones. Something valuable, you mean? You can keep what you found. I don't I don't want any of it. No one's been down below since Rager's people have no interest in Etho er, Ethosian goods, is my point. They won't miss what you don't take. You and I both know what I saw down there and what they told me. Wartan opens his mouth to protest. But something in your expression stops him. He swallows nervously and looks away. His voice, when he speaks, is small. How did you... That place is full of shadows. Spirits of those you killed. Or I could say you don't deserve to live another day and kill him. Yeah. That's not... He eyes you fearfully. I didn't kill them. Right up to the end, I... You don't understand. I tried to help them. I did. Every day, every single day, I went to that temple and I warned them. I told them they were playing with fire and Radric wouldn't be patient forever. And every time they'd shrug it off like I didn't know what I was talking about, like it wasn't costing me coming in to try and help them, I could have been arrested right alongside them. So you killed them because they wouldn't listen? No, of course not. I... I don't know, Morten whispers very quietly. I think on it all the time, wondering. I told the commander the priest had left town, and he ordered the temple, temple sealed. I remember that moment. It was like a dream, like I went away for a time. I watched them start bringing the place down, burn the tapestries, the books. It was like... Between one blink and the next, it was over. Too late to say anything. 
Eight years wide, or eyes are wide, disbelieving. Too late to say anything? You had days to tell someone. I'd have dug them out with my own hands if I'd have known. They were some of the last decent folk left in this hole. Now all we have is people like you. Seems like... Hmm, why did you send me down there? Because if Lord Radrick means to have the temple cleared, they would have found the bones eventually. They'd have known I lied to them when I said the priest left, and I'd hang. More ten shoulders sag. I don't know if Radrick would have killed them. Maybe they'd be languishing in cells now. Maybe they'd be off somewhere in the Empire, and I'd have a night's peace. I'm gonna kill him, probably. The aggressive. No, I'm gonna do that one. I told you the way of it, Wartan, says his voice rough. I told you what happened. Guess it's your turn now to make a decision. If I ever see you in Gilded Vale again, you're a dead man. Wartan looks relieved for an instant, then full comprehension of his words seems to strike him his eyes wide. But I have nowhere to go. I can't just leave. Better hurry before I change my mind. Wartan stammers, taking a few steps back. He looks to the stairs, then back at you and starts running. There we go, I did something good for the town, and I got rid of the bad guy. The somewhat bad guy. Although technically he caused deaths, but I mean, he also saved deaths, so I mean, it's a... That's a gray area. I think there's gonna be a lot of moral gray areas in this game. Alright, let's take a look at the journal. What do we got? We have Lord of a Barren Land, which is to Raedrick's Hold. We have the Trials of Durance, which we are doing currently. Fragments of a Scattered Face. Bring a dare to speak with Merewald. And the old watcher, which is Cadnoa. So I guess we're off to do something else now. Maybe we'll go to Radrix Keep first. I think that sounds like a really cool quest, and I kind of want to do it. So we're gonna head to the uh, woods, I guess. We need one more group member. We're gonna head to Easternwood. It, oh wait, you know what should we should do before we go actually? Now that I've already started the loading screen. We should go pick up more camping supplies because we're out. So let's go buy some of those. Back we go. And then we're gonna go do this awesome one. Where we go take out a keep. Which I think sounds really cool. into the tavern, buy some awesome goods, then we'll head to the forest again, and we will start our journey towards the well met, Baron's friend. Keep. Let's grab some camping supplies, we only need two. They're expensive, we should also sell some stuff. Um, we don't need this, we don't need that, well maybe we need a robe. We'll see about the robe. Wolf hide can go into there. Oh, I can't do that yet. Alright, fair enough. So I don't need daggers. I don't need a hatchet. I don't need a crossbow. I don't need cord stuff. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Need that. And don't need that. Anything else to sell? Oh. Uh, yes. Some clothing. We'll sell that. More clothing. Leather armor is pretty worthless. Hide armor is super worthless. Mail armor is not as good as what we're using. So there we go. We got some more money. And we have some supplies. And now we're going to leave. Um, I did see something by accident. This is a little bit of metagaming. And I feel kind of bad for it, but... While I was trying to figure out what to do with the abandoned temple, I did notice that there is a hidden item here. Shh. You should see this. So just so you guys know, there is a hidden item there. That was my bad. And let's get out of town.
Actually, before we leave, I just want to take a look at how close we are to leveling. So we're 3,000 away with our main character. Again, 3,000 away with Adair. 3,000. 2,000 away with our ranger. And about 3,000. So between two and 3,000 to get all of our people up a level. So a little ways to go before we gain some more sweet, sweet experience. Or sweet, sweet skills, I should say. Now we're on the road again. On the road again. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just accidentally alt-tabbed. Not alt-tabbed, um, shift-tab, which brings up the steam overlay, of course. A blade in the dark. It just seems like a place where there should be something. But I could be wrong. Is that really the top of the map? No, it's not. This normal speed is good. This is a very bleak looking place. But there's deer here, it can't be that bad. Flame and sound. I mean, if it was a terrible place, there probably wouldn't be deer here. What are these things? Wicks again! Luckily, wicks aren't particularly hard to kill. They do poison on hit, but... Eh. Not too hard to kill. They would take very little damage to wipe out. I wish we could carry more camping supplies. I wonder if that's a thing that we can get later on. Two days worth of camping supplies does not seem like enough camping supplies. That's a big spider. Luckily, they don't have very good damage reduction. There's also some more wits. I actually think they're whites. But they had to change the name so they wouldn't be copying anything. Although I'm pretty sure there's a fair use clause on the word white, considering it's been in lore for like a billion years. Whites are not uh, owned by Forgotten Realms or anything like that, to my knowledge anyways. Ramhorn helmet, some chew. That's another junk. That's another spear spider. An almost dead spear spider. We owned that thing. Like hardcore. That was awesome. Let's keep quiet. Anything here? Except for some wicked bones. Maybe from Laura's actually spelt wicked or white. Could be a German spelling or something. I don't know why I don't hit alt. It's probably because I hit tab a lot to check if there's anything around. If I hit alt tab, then it's just annoying. What's this tree do? Wooden, or sorry, warding symbols as red and rough as scabs have been carved into some of the trees. Apparently people are warding the woods against evil or something? I'm gonna hope it's evil. If they're warding it against good, then we're in the wrong place. Hello, dear. Stag and deer, I guess. Okay. There's gotta be way up to here. Because I think that there's more things to do in this area. At least I would hope so. Otherwise, this is a very short area with a couple whites, and that's it. Not very exciting. Kinda neat, but not very exciting. Aha! There's more. We can walk up there. Let's quick save before we go do that, in case we die. Which has happened a lot. Like a lot. A lot. So is this a cemetery? It looks kind of like a, it is a cemetery. Goodbye skeleton. There's a dwarf skeleton and an amwa skeleton. No prisoners! Oh damn, there's a lot of skeletons. Alright, fair enough. 
We'll take them all down. They're probably very good against piercing damage, but really crappy against blunt damage. If I had to hazard a guess. Is that it? Everybody's dead? Wow, they have a lot of weapons. Pike, Poleaxe, Sword, Shield, Vessel Bone. And a Hunting Bow and a Durance Staff. Or Vessel Bone, sorry. Why is it Durance Staff? That's weird. Alright, what's this? Oh, there's a lot of things. Alright. Blackthorn's Ode to the Fallen. Here's to the Fallen of Sorcerer's Place. Sir Bella Paladin with sword and mace. Takara twas turnips. Put a smile on his face. Kitex for help or tech help was first on the case. Each one now gone, but not without trace. Puff the swamp dragon. Here lies proof that wit can never be defense enough against the sword. <laughs> Clin should have kept one of his kidneys. The James Quersimien Paul, a warrior from another land, fighting against his own body for the right to live. He fought 25 years to be felled in his greatest battle. He lived through worse than this. Keepers of the core. It is improvident to regard something as a trifle just because it fails to catch the eye. One should never judge a book by its cover, or one may miss at least one marvel. Look deeper, Wayfarer. Anton, enjoy, because I sure will. Samuel Schwager. I think these are um, people that pledged a certain amount of money to the game, the Kickstarter, and they're, they get to be on the memorial. A life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. Alliance Wolf. In memory of my best friend, Ratman, may all of us remember him. Farewell, Ratman. Mario, lived and die by the dice. <laughs> I like that. Craig Nightclaw White, not everybody appreciates those who lend a helping hand. An enemy. Mahima Fihi, a humid you searched long and hard and dedicated your life. I hope you found in it what is in it. Okay. Anders Deuce, in memory of ISAF 14. Kristov and Sir Manser. I don't know how to say the last name. I'm going to butcher it. So, uh, Siupka? Or Kupka? And Anser Manser provides dubious addition to any adventuring party, being mostly useless in the thick of battle, and largely only good for his knowledge of obscure trivia. Fun in a pub, though. Ayoga, or Ayogi? Ayoagi? Ayoagi, I think. H.O. A life has been wasted on searching for a place inhabited by wise people skilled in the ancient and forgotten art of grammar, capitalization, capitalization punctuation, syntax, spelling. No hope. All is lost. Camille Hit, House of Wishmere. Acrobat. Hunter of butterflies. Destroyer of gingerbread houses. <laughs> and Jorgen Finstad. I'm just going outside. And maybe sometime. AJ Olsen. Olsen, maybe. To be lost in eternity is to truly find home. Maybe... Never lose the spirit and imagination that brought us here. Claudia, Suzu, and Neighbor Cat. Three overlords known for their intelligence, laziness, and raw killing power. So those are people that um, contributed a good amount of money to the game. And were rewarded for doing so. Oh, there's more of them. I see. Well, I might as well go through them. I went to the first batch, so. Sergei Miravsky. Here lies in earth a root of hell, set by the Dales and Dibble, this worthless body damned himself to save the Lord the Trouble. Jethro Q. Walrus Tiddy, founding member of the Society for Collaborating Solipsists. Chippy, this name appears like it was stamped into the memorial from a heavy blow. It is cracked, weather beaten, and barely hanging on. It looks as though it might be dashed to the four winds at every at any moment. Chris Van Darg. Under this black soil lies a man whom this world was too much to live in. After having gone from north to south to east to west, he went underground. Night shock. Ash weenie, the best weenie. Nicholas Zukas. All I know is that I know nothing. Clamo. Here in an eternal state of irony lies Clamo. Coffin dodger of the obsidian order. Necrophiliacs apply within. Joshua. And how can a man die better than facing fearful odds from the ashes of his fathers and the temples of his gods? I like that one. Clairu. Without everyone's help, this memorial wouldn't even be here. Thank you, everybody. Coffee Minx. Sarathiel was here. Visa Toivonen. Decapitated by mailbox. Excellent. Ingenium. I can only please one person per day. Today is not your today. Tomorrow doesn't look good either. Doris Lamfer doesn't have anything. Go be freed. Fortune favors the brave, my son. Korlagen, ambassador of the Obsidian Order. 
uh, in remembrance of those who gave their lives during the golden era. Corin Kane, nothing. Corey Starkiller, in a world where what we want is only what we want until it's ours, you sometimes get what is needed, so don't give up hope, it comes from the place least expected. The struggle is worth the effort. Dream Dancer, who knows where the dance will take the dreamer. I like those. I think it's cool that this is an additional to- oh, there's another one. Addition to the game. Alright, next one again. Bernhardt, all men must die, but why oh why did I have to fry? <laughs> I like that one. Brisk awesome sauce, the bank of Brisk is now closed. Uh, four commas, knew too much. Christopher Buckley, if I could reach from pole to pole or grasp the ocean with a span, I would be measured by the soul that mines the standard of the man. Lucane Morgans, had too little common ground, did old Luke, or Lucian, or Lucane? I think it's Lucane, with plebs from Dale, to seat in a single blade of grass, still the wizard had me round, and would spin a twisting tale, the lonesome evenings to pass. Athos Mazanti, the noble father of a grateful son. Cardo, Obsidian Order Risk Assessor. Nothing is achieved without risk. You have to assess the risks, and your name might still end up on a tombstone. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Carlo won. As a denizen of far-off lands such as Westgate and Toral, Carlo had dedicated himself to the adventuring life, first by taking the endless road himself, then guiding others along his twisting paths. Stian Belvin uh, Schultz. Nothing beats a good old linguistic barrier. <laughs> Keel the Unarmed. He heard it scream as if a dream. But he knew not what to fear. He went to sea without a steel. A curious man was Keel. He rolled the dice and paid the price. It was the best of ear Brantiel. Beast of ear Brantiel, sorry. Alright. There's another one. Two. Ah, uh, we'll do the last one. I would be remiss if I left some people out. J.R.S. Here lies Ray. It was was just not his day. And please no necromancy. Let him rot in peace. Seriously, he really hates necromancers. Really. Arsigvek, a wanderer of many worlds. Brel, he was very high-minded. Asdrugal, a charlatan, smooth and shady, who wooed too many a lady, while joyfully rolling in the sack, a knife was plunged in his back. To an end came his cheating wife at the hands, or er, his cheating life at the hands of his jealous wife. Eric Grape, his coffers made empty to turn the tide. Hubert of the Suentidi, he has the love. All right then. Robert T. Torres, some say chivalry is gone, but never dismay, for this hero ever ready to save the day, family, faith, and tradition his stay, his righteous cause prevails even as his life slipped away. Peck in the picked on, there's been a terrible mistake, don't just stand there, get a shovel and start digging. <laughs> I like that. Sunny, accepting of tourists to the plain of pirates, please say, Arisia, to be given a full brochure of the many exciting and cost-effective adventures available. Serban Dan Blidir Blidariu. They who are willing to give up their liberty for the sake of security deserve neither. And so have appeared those who hope for nothing and fear nothing, the truly free. Freya Susrumir Rumnir. Honor the sacrifices of those that gave their lives so that we could be free once again. Gilbert, Biochemistry, Dumont. Live the life you love, love the life you live. From now to eternity, life will always be a game. Evan the Cursed, eventually every torment ends. Please excuse our dust. Baraka. Once a proud hero, he died far from home, his fortune squandered on woman and song. But dry your teary eyes, there's no need for despair, for he went out smiling, no regrets did he bear. Unknown wizard, with nothing. Peter Davies, big in Hong Kong. Bertolt Starlarm, a man with his shield and sword trying to leave his past behind, but regardless how far you go, how many battles you fight, the demons from the past will always find you. Poet of the Obsidian Order, a famous poet of old, whose writings were lost, all but for a line which now marks his memorial. One drop of blood, ill spent. Alright. I think that was all of them. It's just the graveyard, and that's the end of the area, actually. Oh, uh, before we go traveling off, I know we're just about at 30 minutes. A blade but I dark. know Obsidian fairly well, so I'm going to quickly check around with my scouting eyes to see if they've hidden anything in here. It seems like something they would do. Anybody else got some? Maybe. I wonder what this is. Ha! I knew it. There is a fine dagger and a cape of deflection here. You guys are tricksy. Tricksy. Alright. Let's get out of here. 
We're going to head towards the keep now. We're going to go into the Baron's area and hopefully wipe him out. Save the land from an evil man and stuff. So, like always, I'm going to just wander up here. There's nothing else in the area to explore, I don't think. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time for the keep, which is pretty exciting. Take care.